Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, ready to take on leg number two of the Grapes of Wrath Route 66 adventure. Uh, we de completed leg one. That was Salisaw to Henrietta Municipality, uh, Municipal Airport. So today we are on leg number two, and we're going to be taking off from Henrietta Muni, and we're going to be flying to Wiley Post, which is in Oklahoma City. So once I am in the cabin and ready to take off, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I am here in the cabin. I have the uh, plane all started. We're sitting here on the runway ready to take off. And so today's flight is... Uh, Leg number two, it's Henrietta Municipality, and we're going to be flying to Wiley Post. Uh, we're going to be passing, I think, uh, four, let's see here. Uh, I think it's four or five different points of interest. Uh, it's going to be Okima, uh, Kyuku Falls, uh, Shawnee. Uh, we're going to be going into Oklahoma City, which is where Wiley Post is located. And uh, we're going to be passing over the Sundance Bridge and then landing at Wiley Post. So that's the points of interest we're going to be flying. Once uh, I take off, I'm pretty much going to not say too much. I'm just going to let you enjoy the flight and listen to the narration as we travel and pass over uh, these specific points of interest. And as we take off, the first point of interest, Okima, uh, will be coming up. So uh, be ready, uh, be ready for that. So let me um, kind of minimize this so we can take off, and I will uh, catch back up with you once we get to the end of the flight. Headlights course northwest to find Interstate 40 again. Okima was founded in 1902 on land that once belonged to the Creek Nation. The name Okima comes from a Creek chief, Okima Yohola, known for his wisdom and leadership. Okima is located in central Oklahoma, about 70 miles east of Oklahoma City. The city is situated in a transitional area between prairies and forested hills, offering a varied and picturesque landscape. Okima is famous for being the birthplace of Woody Guthrie, the legendary American folk singer-songwriter.
Sakuk Falls is probably named after a Native American chief of the Sac and Fox tribe. It is located in Pottawatomie County, Central Oklahoma, near the North Canadian River. The area is characterized by rolling hills and forests typical of the landscape in this part of Oklahoma. The falls in the name probably refer to a series of rapids or small waterfalls on the river nearby, although they may not be as visible today as they once were because of changes in the course of the river. Shawnee is named after the Native American tribe of the same name. The city grew rapidly after its founding, thanks to the arrival of two major railroad lines. Shawnee became a significant railroad and commercial center, earning the nickname Athens of Oklahoma for its many educational institutions. An interesting aspect of Shawnee is its strong connection to higher education. The city is home to Oklahoma Baptist University and St. Gregory's University, now closed, which helped shape the city's cultural identity. Oklahoma City is the capital and largest city in the state of Oklahoma. It was founded on a single day April 22, 1889 during the Oklahoma land rush and has experienced significant moments in American history from the oil era to the Great Depression. Oklahoma City is located in the center of the state at the intersection of three ecological regions, the Great Plains, the hills of the Washita Mountains, and the Cross Timbers. The North Canadian River, renamed the Oklahoma River in the city section, flows through the city. The city skyline, dominated by the Devon Energy Center, Oklahoma's tallest skyscraper. Downtown is a mix of modern architecture and well-preserved historic buildings. An interesting aspect of Oklahoma City is its urban renaissance. 
The Metropolitan Area Projects MAPS, has transformed the city in recent decades, adding facilities such as the Chesapeake Energy Arena home of the NBA's Thunder and Scissortail Park. The city is rich in cultural attractions. The National Cowboy Plus Western Heritage Museum celebrates the history of the American West, while the Oklahoma City Museum of Art houses an impressive collection of European and American art. Oklahoma City is also known for its moving Oklahoma City National Memorial, which commemorates the victims of the 1995 bombing, symbolizing the resilience and spirit of the city. Skydance Bridge is an iconic modern piece of architecture in Oklahoma City. Completed in 2012, it spans Interstate 40 in the heart of the city, connecting downtown with the Oklahoma River. Architecturally, the bridge is a masterpiece of modern design. Its most distinctive feature is the huge bird-shaped sculpture that rises above the bridge. The bridge itself is about 120 meters long and 9 meters wide. The Kirk design and the use of modern materials such as steel and glass create a fascinating contrast to the city skyline. At night, the bridge's LED lighting creates a visual spectacle that has become a tourist attraction in its own right. Turn northwest and prepare to land at Wiley I Post Airport.
Okay, we are getting close to landing. Uh, I am going to take over. So we're going to turn the autopilot off. Uh, we're going to turn the navigation off. Uh, and there we go. We have control of the aircraft. And we're going to start swinging wide over here so that we can uh, get lined up on, I believe it's 36 right is what we're coming in on. And the airport is off to our right over there. So we're going to head over here towards this body of water. And as we get over towards it, uh, we're going to start uh, swinging around and we should be lined up with the airport itself. And start backing off on the throttle just a little bit. Let's go ahead and put our first set of flaps down. And then we should be able to start to uh, Swinging around to our right. And there's our uh, airstrip right there. set of flaps. 500. in right here I believe and I think we can go straight ahead over here should be able to just kind of pull right in over here and park kind of just park right here all right set the brake and let's uh, get this thing turned off that let's get these off That off. And turn that off. There we go. Leg completed. Uh, 39 minutes. Uh, and uh, so we'll be ready for the next leg. When we get ready to take off, that'll be leg number three. So this was from Henrietta Muni to KPWA Wiley Post 
It was about uh, 82 nautical miles, so it was a pretty nice trip. All right, all you flight simmers out there, if you uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Okay, flight simmers, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.